There's a beautiful tradition called the Station Churches in Rome. What it is is that every single day of Lent, all 40 days, there's a different station church somewhere in the ancient city of Rome and the surrounding areas. So every morning, very early before the sun has arisen, pilgrims from all over, students, you know, residents of Rome, would all get up and go to the assigned station church for mass. But the first one is the same one every year at Santa Sabina. And that's the mass, typically, traditionally, that the Pope, Pope Francis, would come and kick off Lent for everyone. So it's kind of interesting, between Christmas and Easter, after those two big celebrations, Ash Wednesday is the highest attended day mass during the entire Catholic liturgical year. And you ask yourself, you know, why is that? Because it's actually not an obligation like some other days to attend, but nonetheless, people show up. Is it because, you know, they get the ashes on their forehead? Is it a symbol, you know, in their work environments with their family, with their friends to say, look at me, I'm a Christian? Perhaps, but the meaning of the ashes is a symbol, a communal symbol of penance, of repentance and believing in the gospel. So if you weren't able to join us yet today, we still have a few more opportunities of masses at both church locations for you to come to receive Jesus into your heart and also to receive those ashes upon your head. Ash Wednesday, it should not be overlooked or just dismissed as that one ritual that just comes and goes every year, right? We invite you to enter into it to start off your Lent in a beautiful and right way. And so by the end of it, God can transform you into a better person, into the saint that he is calling you, his beloved son, beloved daughter, to be. So whether you're in St. Charles, Illinois, or whether you're over in Rome, there's this universal understanding in our faith that Ash Wednesday is a beautiful gift. So we invite you to enter into it, to call to mind your sins, to repentance and belief in the gospel. So by the end of Lent, we, with Jesus, could rise. He'll transform us and we'll be made closer and closer to saints.